Hello everybody and welcome to this review as I fuss around with the camera. Um, well it's kind of a review but it's mostly just kind of talking about uh, Reaper paints. Now they do a number of different things for miniatures. I think they have uh, a game line now. Uh, they have a number of different uh, Kickstarters usually for Reaper bones. Um, I don't have really any Reaper bones uh, hanging around right now but I do have one of their metal um, knights you could probably use them with some bretonians or whatnot but I haven't really cleaned them up skill wise he's a, a pretty tall guy for what he is but they got plastic, uh, there's a new plastic they're doing, I, I haven't investigated the yet, that yet, but they do metal and plastic, mostly plastic these days. Um, but they also have a paint line, and because of where I live, this is one of the first paints I started with outside of, well, Vallejo. Um, and it's quite an interesting set of paints, I like a lot of the colors. But, what's it like to use? Well, over time, I've used this enough that, uh, let's use some of this. So, again, camera. There we go. <laughs> I've used these enough that I kind of am familiar with the properties of them. Um, I do a little bit of uh, red. Um, get that on camera go ahead and get our brush taken care of Whoop. now this will thin out a great deal on a wet palette but uh, depending on your taste and uh, what you like to do let's just go ahead and move that over all right you might get some use out of that or not uh, depending on how and I made a little bit of a mess up there um, on how much uh, you like doing, uh, oh lord, uh, you know, thin coats, you know, the Duncan Rhodes thing. I find that with this paint, it's usually better to go a little heavier than you actually expect. Um, and it usually, usually treats you right. Now, this is a miniature I got off a of fairly. Uh, well low uh, I believe auction and um, well it needed a little bit of love but you know I don't believe this miniature is in production anymore so you know you get what you get but I'm gonna try my best to uh, keep this in frame I have a very small workspace but the red uh, is pretty nice it's about as thin and finicky as some reds you'd expect and I'm going over the lines a little bit uh, just to help get that base coat in there it's a very nice red though I like this for my uh, my word bearers which for the longest time I've kept referring to as word bearers uh, yeah you know my brother in, ended up enjoying that one a great deal as I smack the light fixture good job um, but it's a pretty decent color I don't hate it um, and honestly over the uh, the kind of gracier like uh, uh, under our prime I did it does pop pretty well now when I hit it with uh, the wash that I make it had darkened down a great deal so their general paints are pretty decent they're about on par with uh, what you would expect from a number of different uh, uh, providers or cre makers of paint uh, again my experience comes from uh, well, the fact that I live near where they actually manufacture it and uh, it's one of the easier paints to obtain now I'm being a little bit messy here you can be a lot more uh, a lot cleaner but this is the base coat for this guy and 
I just want to get some of them down in a solid manner before I get to anything, uh, you know, fancier. Plus, when I do the metallics over this, they're really not going to uh, be a problem for the metallics. So, nothing to worry about there. Uh, generally, I find that uh, they're most of their colors, once you get used to it, and that's a, a key with any of these uh, brands, is you have to get kind of used to using them. Oh, he only had really one letter uh, attachment. Okay. I forgot about that. Well, uh, you know, once you get used to it, you'll you'll actually do just fine with it and I think it's pretty much on par with uh, most if not you know, the vast majority of uh, paints that you could expect to see in the market now they make a number of different things uh, as I <laughs> shake this up in the background uh, of course, as I mentioned, miniatures. I believe they got a tabletop game and a couple other things. Now, this one I'm going to have to pop open because I think I messed up a while ago the, uh, the funnel to it and I need to uh, put the aged pewter in a, another container as I struggle to clean my hands off. <laughs> don't want to get that everywhere but um yeah so they're they're pretty much what you would expect I'm just using this one brush to uh, stay as uh, have one commonality as I can now the the metals are really one of the weaker points I would say of the line but I could say that about pretty much every line I could think of outside of a, a few of them. Um, scale 75 for example. But that's kind of a weakness of metallic paints kind of in general. Uh, now I don't like non-metallic uh, painting. Not that I'm saying it doesn't take skill, it's just I don't particularly like the look that it gives. Uh, gives units. Um, for coverage on the metallics it's okay. It's uh, it's probably better in a lot of cases. Well, There's a good example. Let's uh, get some of that on there. Um, we got some red here. Let's see how easily it covers over. There we go. It's It does the job but you're gonna have to learn the foibles with it it can be a little weak, it can go on a little thin, and it can be sometimes a little bumpy. That's why I would say if you're uh, using the metallics in this line, it's almost better to uh, always use a, uh, a wet palette and uh, go from there. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll go from here. We're going to use this brush for a little bit longer just to show off uh, this metallic individually and then I'm going to just switch to a different one so I can clean this and not worry about having to change the water in the middle of this. So pardon my, uh, my dry brush here. But it's uh, metallic wise uh, I like the, the aged pewter and the coppery orange which is a good replacement uh, this one if you're looking for something on par with Screaming Bell I know for the longest time I couldn't get Screaming Bell in the, uh, the local area so it was a bit of a kerfluffle in a way alright I'm gonna reach over here grab this uh, other cheapy brush I have and uh, let's uh, let's throw some pure black on there now normally I don't use their pure black not because it's bad but I like the uh, the Vallejo German uh, black gray a little bit more and oh boy that's all fussed up Oops. whoop came out a little thick that time I wonder if mine's drying out finally who knows 
uh, let me struggle getting that off my hand. <laughs> but, um, no, oh, yay. <laughs> Grabbed the wrong brush again. Good job. Um, as you can see, they can thin out really, really quick on the palette. So, the coverage on the black is pretty good. It's, uh, it can be a little thin, so depending on uh, how you're doing things or if it thins out on you, uh, my suggestion is just do two coats, um, and then go from there and see what you think. Um, I use it to base coat sometimes the metallics, uh, and I'm being very, very messy in this regard. But you can see uh, on the palette, if you just ignore that little bit of medium, because mine is very old. This is probably one of the older paints I have uh, in regards to, uh, oh, there's a little hair there. I'll pull that off later. Uh, that I have in terms of a collection because where I live, uh, the local store had a bit of an issue with Games Workshop. And they decided to uh, stop stocking their stuff. But uh, coverage-wise, the black's pretty good as I keep forgetting to keep it in frame. I need to put some wires or something over here. And I'm being a little messier than I should, but you know what? It's a demonstration. We gotta get this stuff on, huh? Um, now, is it a paint worth getting or going out of your way to get? get no is it as good as a lot of the other brands i would say it's pretty on par with a lot of the other brands with a couple that are weak and a couple that are strong and then just some nice color options that it has um that you you know might not get in other ones like uh, oddly enough i don't think there's another uh, paint that does the uh, the pewter that I'm aware of. If if there are, let me know. I do really like uh, the aged pewter look as I keep not keeping it on screen. I apologize for that. But let's go ahead and move him off the side. And uh, you can see how it's doing on there. The metallic is definitely kind of more gel. These are mostly staying pre pretty well together. Now, it is warm here where I am, so uh, you can get what you can get. So, uh, whoop, as we're going to do, you can see how the black covered. Uh, there, It's not the greatest, but I'm not going to sit here and torment you that way. The brown needs a second coat, but I do like when you shade over this brown. It has a really nice look to it. And we'll go ahead and switch over to a guy that I've already painted. Huzzah. And here we are. All right. So this is one of the Chosen I painted. He's, um, he's painted in the same red, but this one's shaded. The metallic is the aged pewter. His eyes are yellow, but I'm planning on changing that color because I just don't think they show up well enough. The, uh, the gun is painted in a similar black. The uh, tongue, I believe, is uh, coated with uh, pale magenta or uh, pale violet red, and then some catachan or rat skin flesh. I can't remember which one it was. The skull is just a very light dusting of one of my khaki paints. And I left the joints actually gray and just uh, put a fairly uh, dark uh, contrast over them. Oh, there's the, uh, the gun belt. There you go. You can see the, uh, the holster there and how that turns out. Now, he's not done, but he's a pretty good example of what you can do with these paints if you're being a lot more neat than I was right there. Um, the, the question it comes down to, are these the greatest paints in the world? No. Are they good? Yeah. Are they worth getting, depending on what you're looking for for colors? Yeah. Um, I think they're a, a good brand. 
that has some pretty nice options out there and I can definitely suggest some of their reds and definitely if you like how this aged pewter looks once you shade it with a, a dark known oil or like even rats, uh, rattling grime it is a paint worth picking up and let's see we got one other guy I can show so the the leg here that is the coppery orange and the parts up here are screaming bell and I'd say that they're almost a perfect match uh, the tentacle here is a uh, pale violet red the tabard is uh, magenta and I plan on painting these over with the rat skin flesh but I use it as a base and I would say if you're looking for a paint and you live in an area where Reaper is somewhat easy to get, especially if you live in somewhere in like Central America or in a central part of the United States, I would definitely say pick it up. And hey, you might want to check out some of their uh, their miniatures as well. They got some a bunch of different ones, especially for tabletop RPGs. Uh, you can you put some in for uh, different war games. Uh, and so on and so on and there's some decent options out there I like this Teutonic Knight as kind of a uh, Bretonian hero for example and you got a good selection as I drop him on the ground um, of paints uh, games and so on so I would definitely give them two thumbs up the metallics are a little weak but they have a couple good options uh, the reds are decent and one thing to remember always go with two coats on these and if you want a brighter color always go with a white primer in this regard I mixed up a uh, two to one um, uh, Steinle Res white and Steinle Res gray and I keep that in a little thing here and I came up with this which is pretty close to the gray sear primer and I just put that over the miniatures for a uh, pretty decent effect and um, that's what I do so hopefully this was helpful at the very least not the greatest but it's really my first foray into talking about it so I definitely give Reaper a thumbs up I, they've always done well by me and while their paints might not be uh, blowing anyone's socks off they are pretty on par with what most of the brands offer at least up until i test fanatics so thanks for joining me bye bye